This old man was the most powerful demon of all. Killing like hell, George cut him into three pieces with one stroke, but soon he will be one again, apparently unharmed. The old man didn't fight back from the beginning to the end, just playing with him all the time. In addition, he has the ability to change into five different forms. The second is a mountain of female flesh made up of countless beautiful women. The third is a goat-headed demon with tentacles all over his body. The fourth is a muscular monster that has the ability to replicate all of its opponent's abilities and has the ability to recover. The last is a demigod demon lord. His laser eye of death is capable of destroying everything. And can the smallest of humans turn the tide against the odds? Kato was murdered on his way home. When he wakes up, he finds himself in a room, and he has been reborn. The beautiful women in front of him, Reika and Suzuki, tell him, everyone in this room has died once. They must complete the mission given by the black ball in order to stay alive. With a burst of music, the black ball also gave this mission to kill a demon lord called Nerarahion. If the mission is not completed within the time limit, everyone would die. So everyone was transported by the black sphere to the other side. By now, the place was rampant. As the crowd looked on in horror, a faceless demoness rushed towards them. Suzuki was so scared that she fired, but because it was out of range, it had no effect. Nishi stepped forward and fired a single shot. The demoness was killed with a blow to the head. The device in Reika's hand sounded an alarm. Countless monsters appeared. The night of the hundred ghosts begins. Soon a big-headed ghost spotted Kato. Everyone started running for their lives. The demons were in hot pursuit. Their ammunition was soon exhausted. Everyone was pounced on by the monster. Kato pinned to the ground by the big-headed ghost. The defensive power of his suit kept him alive. Just when they were at their wit's end, a gunshot saves them. It was the Osaka team, who were well equipped. There is a great difference in combat effectiveness between them, a group of monsters that had frightened them. They were no match for the Osaka team. They were quickly slaughtered. Just then a scythe snake came out of nowhere, with a single blow. It cut the members of the Osaka team in half. Looking at the approaching snake demon, the Osaka team members were calm. George raised his energy gun and aimed at it. The snake was instantly obliterated. The number of demons was dwindling. The crowd cheered. Suzuki also explained to Kato, if you get 100 points, the black ball will give you three options. One is to get a stronger weapon. The second was to revive a dead companion. The last is to erase the memory and return to the real world. Just when they thought they were going to win this time, they didn't notice. A man in the sky was watching all this. This man is Nerarahion, the target of the mission given by the Black Sphere. At that moment Kato saw an old man. He was about to be killed by a monster. Kato resolutely blocked the old man in front of the mad shooting. Kato almost gets his own head cut off. He sticks a stick right in the monster's eye. He then picked up a weapon from the side, jumping up in the air and finally hitting it in the vitals. With a flash of red light, the monster's head was split open. Kato's act of heroism attracted Enzu from the Osaka team. Through her, he also learned about the Osaka team. This bald man was called George. He is the main player of the Osaka team and has scored 100 points three times. The taller one is Nobuo. He has scored 100 points four times. And then there's the legendary Okahachiro. He has seven 100s. Suddenly there was a violent shaking of the ground. The Minotaur came out from under the water and hissed. No one would have been a match for him. At that moment, a giant mech warrior came from across the street. Soon they were fighting each other. What happened before them was beyond their imagination. Just then Nerara Hyun's guardian Tengu descended from the sky. The human machine guns were useless to him. He slaughtered them all in an instant. Kato hit him with his energy gun. But the Tengu soon broke free. George and Nobuo of the Osaka team arrived on the occasion of survival. He took a straight shot. Tengu fell to the ground with a crash. But strangely enough, he was only wounded and not dead. This is something that has never happened before. Nobuo went on a shooting spree. Tengu withstood the gravity gun's damage. Then it grabbed Nobuo in his hands and slammed him to the ground. In the nick of time, he finally shot Tengu in the head. But he also died at the hands of the Tengu dog. To the astonishment of all eyes, Nurarihayan, the king of demons, made his grand entrance. George used all his strength, but to no avail. Proud swordplay is of no use. At this sight, he summoned his battle armor's frenzy mode. He goes up and strangles Nerarahion. But in the next moment, Nerarahion turns into a female hell, swallowing George in his belly. As the crowd despairs, Nishi appeared just in time to finish Nerarahion off with his gravity gun. But in the next moment, there was a sudden change. In the pool of blood, 
Nirarahion reanimates, and evolved into a tentacled goat-headed demon king. Nishi immediately went invisible and prepared a sneak attack, but he was immediately recognized and lost an arm. Kato picks up Nishi and leads the retreat under the bridge. The battle between the giant mecha warriors and the Minotaur is at a critical juncture. The mech warriors were no match for the Minotaur, he was soon knocked to the ground. At that moment a man in battle armor appeared on the Minotaur's head. This man was the legendary Okahachiro. He began to attack wildly, and soon the Minotaur was dead. The final showdown begins. On one side is Okahachiro, a human weapon that has scored 100.7 times. On the other side is the ultimate demon, Nurarihayon. Who will win and who will lose between them? The goat-headed demon lord's blasts have no effect on him. Okahachiro unleashes his most powerful blow yet. Numerous air cannons of energy were fired from between his hands. All of them hit the golem's body. When Kato's group thought the battle was over, Okahachiro told them that the main event was next. By now the golem had once again evolved into a muscle monster. His body was full of explosive power. Okahachiro instantly charged forward and attacked wildly. The muscle monster was cut off at the waist. But the next moment he was back together again. He was able to recover from the damage done to his body instantly. A few punches knocked his helmet off. Soon Okahachiro won't be able to fight back. In the nick of time the mech emits a massive cloud of smoke. Just as the muscle monster knocked him down, a sharp blade pierced his own chest and told Kato's group, only a surprise attack would be effective against Nirarihion. Then he left the scene, and when Kato went over to him, the situation changed again. An orb flew out of the muscular monster's body. At the last moment Suzuki blocked the attack with his own body. He saved Kato's life. When he turned his head, he saw that. Nirarihion had now completed his final evolution. He became the invincible demigod skeleton king, determined to avenge Suzuki's death. Kato had forgotten about life and death, summoned battle armor in berserk mode, but his full force was to no avail. Kato's armor was destroyed by a single blow from the skeleton king. He ignored everyone in front of him. He soared into the air. Kato remembered Okahachiro's advice. Only a surprise attack can be effective. He decided to stay behind his bait. He left Reika and Anzu to hide and snipe at a distance. The next moment the skeleton king appeared behind Kato. By now he had Okahachiro's head in his hands. As he prepares to strike at Kato, a sniper shot shatters his arm. Then Reika and Anzu took their turn. The two take turns sniping at the Skull King. The Skeleton King's body starts to break under their attack. But then he started fighting back. He fires his death laser right indiscriminately. There was a huge explosion wherever it hit. Just as Kato was about to reach his gravity gun, Kato lost both his legs. Reika was also pierced in the shoulder by the death ray. She could not continue to aim and sniping. The Skeleton King has finally spotted Kato's location. Anzu immediately rushed out to act as a shield. She was eventually killed by the death ray. Kato was about to be killed by the Skeleton King. Nishi, who had disappeared for a long time, rushed out of his spaceship and cut him in two with his sword. He was badly injured himself. At this moment Kato has finally got his gravity gun. He raises the gravity gun and pulls the trigger. In the end, the skeleton king was too badly wounded. He could no longer withstand the damage of the gravity gun and was knocked down. Afterwards, Kato's frenzied attack turned him into powder. There was no more chance of a resurrection. After the dust had settled, Kato crawled to Anzu's side. He took her hands in his and passed out. The mission was over and everyone was transported back to the original room. Their wounds were restored to their original state. For killing the Demon King, Kato scored 100 points, but he didn't choose to erase his memory and return to the real world. Instead, he chose to revive Anzu, who had died for him. The film is called Gantz. Oh, I wish everyone who liked the movie had a girlfriend like Reika and Anzu. See you in the next episode.